Hi friends, uh, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity propagating a default route in EIGRP for IPv4 and IPv6. Here is our objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, propagate an IPv4 default route. In part 2, propagate an IPv6 default route. And in part 3, verify connectivity to outside host. Coming to the scenario, uh, in this activity, we will configure and propagate a default route in EIGRP for IPv4 and IPv6 networks. EIGRP is already configured. However, you are required to configure an IPv4 and uh, an IPv6 default route. Then you will configure the EIGRP routing process to propagate the default route to downstream EIGRP neighbors. And finally, we will verify the default routes by pinging hosts outside the EIGRP routing domain. Coming to part 1, uh, propagate a default route in EIGRP for IPv4. Uh, step 1. Verify EIGRP configuration on each IPv4 enabled router. Display the routing table of each IPv4 enabled router and verify that all IPv4 routes are visible. Right. Coming to the topology, here we can uh, see the routers uh, which is uh, IPv4 enabled. Uh, that is branch 1, branch 2 and IPv4 edge. We will come to branch 1, CLI, show IP root and here we can see that. Right. Coming to uh, branch 2, show IP root. Here we can see the EIGRP and coming to IPv4 edge. Show IP root. Right. Now we will come to step 2. Configure an IPv4 default route. Configure a directly connected IPv4 default route on IPv4 edge. Right, we will uh, do this configuration uh, on this uh, router. Coming to the router, CLI. Right, we will go to global configuration mode. Configure terminal. Here we are going to give IP root 0.0. .0. 0.0.0, .0 space 0.0.0.0 and uh, here the interface uh, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. Coming to uh, step 3, propagate the default route in EIGRP. Configure the EIGRP routing process to propagate the default route. Right, so we will come to uh, the router IPv4 edge. Right here we are going to give router EIGRP and the autonomous system number is 1. Here we are going to give D uh, redistribute static. Right. So it's a redistribute static. Coming to uh, step 4. Verify IPv4 uh, default uh, route is propagating. Display the routing tables uh, for uh, branch 1 and branch 2. To verify the default route is now installed. Right, we will check that. Coming to branch 1, CLI. Here we are going to give show IP root. Yes, here we can see that. The default route is propagating. Now we will come to uh, branch 2. Coming to uh, branch 2. CLI enable here we are going to give show IP root yes so here we can see the default route is uh, propagated 
Now we will come to part 2. Propagate a default root in EIGRP for IPv6. In step 1, verify EIGRP configurations on each IPv6 enabled router. Display the routing table of each IPv6 enabled router and verify that all IPv6 routes are visible. Coming to IPv6 enabled uh, routers. Uh, here we can see uh, IPv6 Edge coming to this uh, router. Here we are going to give enable show IPv6 root. And here we can see the EIGRP root. Yes, here we can see that. Coming to branch 3. Enable show IPv6 root. And here we can see the roots. And to coming to branch 4. Show IPv6 root. Yes, here we can see the EIGRP root. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Configure an IPv6 default route. Configure a directly connected IPv6 default route on IPv6 edge router. Right. So here is our IPv6 edge router. Coming to CLI. We have to go to configure terminal. Here we are going to give IPv6 root. Double colon slash zero the interface we have to specify that is serial zero slash one slash zero coming to a uh, step three propagate the default route in EIGRP configure the EIGRP uh, routing process to propagate the default route right we will do that uh, coming to this router IPv6 edge okay here we are going to give uh, IPv6 uh, router EIGRP and we have to give the autonomous system number 1. And here we are going to give the command uh, redistribute static. Right. Coming to uh, step 4, verify IPv6 default route is propagating. Uh, display the routing tables for uh, branch 3 and branch 4 to verify the default route is now installed. Right, uh, we will verify. Uh, first, we will come to branch 3 CLI. Here, we will give the command show IPv6 route. And uh, here, we will check whether this default route is uh, propagating or not. Yes, here we can see that. Right. Coming to uh, branch 4 here we are going to give a show IPv6 root and to uh, yes here we can see that the default root is uh, propagating now we will come to uh, part 3 verify connectivity to outside host PC1 and PC2 should now be able to ping IPv4 outside host PC3 and PC4 should now be able to ping IPv6 outside host. Coming to the topology, here we can see PC1 and PC2 uh, now be able to ping to uh, this uh, host, IPv4 outside host. And uh, this PC3 and PC4 now be able to ping to this IPv6 outside host. We will uh, verify the connectivity using uh, ping command coming to PC1 desktop command prompt here we are going to ping to uh, this uh, uh, outside host ipv4 outside host yes we are getting the replay now we will uh, try from a pc2 to this uh, ipv4 outside host Here is the address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will uh, check from PC3 
3 uh, to this IPv6 outside host and uh, from PC4 to IPv6 outside host. Coming to PC3 command prompt. Here we are going to give ping command and uh, its IP address of that outside IPv6 host. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will uh, do it from PC4. ping IPv6 address of IPv6 uh, outside host. Yes, we are getting the replay. Yes, that's all in this Spiker Tracer activity uh, propagating a default route in EIGRP uh, for IPv4 and IPv6. Friends, uh, if you have any doubt in this uh, Spiker Tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you